Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is Tanakid and welcome back to another Subnautica tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Aerogel in Subnautica. Before we begin, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. So where, so where are you going to want to start for this? You're going to want to start on a coral tube, on the coral tube close to the Aurora. Don't mistake it for the one over there and don't start on your life pod. Because the life pod can spawn anywhere in the safe shallows and it's going to be pretty inaccurate and it's going to be hard to find. So if you're on the coral tube here, if you just look directly southwest you're going to be able to go to the location i'm using a beacon and i'm doing this in creative to make it a little bit easier but if you're going to be doing this in survival you're going to need a seamoth with at least the very first depth module it is possible to do it without it but you are going to be cutting it close you're going to have to travel a little bit so it's possible but i recommend getting at least the first depth module so when you're ready to go just hop in your seamoth and look directly southwest. So I'm gonna start heading over towards there. I'm gonna speed this up to make this a little bit faster and you can just follow along with me and I'll stop it once we get near the area. Also, a thing to note would be that this area is not dangerous at all. There's nothing to worry about in the Sparse Reef, so there's no Reapers, there's no nothing there, so you should be good. So once you get over to this wreck area, you know you're going in the right place. Now, this is a pretty important wreck. It does have a reinforced dive suit and a couple other stuff that could be pretty useful. There's also some moon pool fragments. So you just want to go right past that, and then you're going to see this big hole here. You just want to go directly down through it. Now down here, um, you will see, uh, you will see life pod, I believe, nineteen. And you'll see some tiger plants and stuff. Now, across the across the um, the cave walls, there are a lot of rupees you can rupees you can pick up and grab. And also down here, there should be gel sacks. Now, there aren't any in this specific location, but you can backtrack a little bit, come over to this area, and there should be extra gel sacks along here. You might do need to do a little bit of search. Oh, there's a time capsule. How convenient. Well. Yeah, you might need to do- here, there's some over here. Um, you can find some basically around this entire area, which is pretty nice. And once you have that, all you have to do is you have to combine the gel sacks with the rubies, and you have pretty much crafted aerogel. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.